Hello guys, welcome to another video. First of all, I want to say that this story doesn't belong to me. So if you want to read the full story for yourself, you can find the link in the description. That being said, let's get into the video. What if Minato had adopted Obito part 2? Obito woke up to confuse at where he was before soon remembering he lived with his sensei now. He still wasn't sure how to feel about that but he figured it couldn't possibly be worse than dealing with his father the smell of food in the kitchen hit his nose so he decided to walk out kushina was cooking some bacon and eggs on the stove and happily chatting to minato it too looked strange to obito usually his parents were extremely aggravated aggravated in the morning if he tried to talk to either of them, they would just, they would just snap at him. Kushina saw Obito and smiled at him. Morning, Obito Kun. You you want to? You wouldn't mind if I call you that, would you? Do you? Obito nodded that, and nodded that it is. It was okay. Good. I got breakfast here, so I hope you are hungry. Come on, get a plate and sit down. Obito did as Kushina told him and got the god plate. He got some food and sat down at the table. Looks good. We don't have this often at the uh, we don't have this often at the compound. Minato raised an eyebrow. Really, what do you eat? Obito shrugged. Whatever they give us, give us it. Usually, just some oatmeal or something healthy like that. For whatever reason, they are, uh, they are so super strict about what we eat. Kushina made herself a plate and sat down. I never believed that health, ki health kick stuff. I mean, you are a ninja after all. We work so hard. We need extra fat and carbs. Obito liked the sound of that. So, what time do we head out for the for missions? Obito, uh, Minato thought for a second about half an hour. Why? Are you actually gonna be on time today? Obito laughed nervously. Sorry, I lost track of time uh, really early. I don't know what it what it is. Kushina shrugged. I was a big troublemaker myself back at the academy. If I never showed up late, then they knew I had done something that uh, that was gonna be hilarious and ex 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 expensive to f hilarious and expensive to fix. Mina to chuckle at the memory. Oh yeah, like when you gave the teacher dango la uh, dango lunch with with sleeping pill, uh, la uh, dango lunch with sp sleeping pills, and then dyed his hair pink after he, he passed out. That was. Hello, uh, that was priceless. Kushina winked. That's why I am I am a good ninja. I am sneaky. Obito loved how uh, how laid back those two were. It was awesome. Obito went to grab a quick shower. I will be sure to be out before we have to leave. Sensei Minato nodded. All right. Be sure you are not late. You can't make excuses because I know exactly what you wha where you are and what wha why would you would be late and why are you, why are you do you be late now? I mixed him. Uh, Obito sna uh, snared at the back of his head and good point. Sna uh, snapped the back of his head. Snapped his the back of his head. Good point. Obito got to uh, got to the training ground a minute early. Much to Rin and Kakashi's surpri uh, surprise. Obito, is that really you? I mean, you are on time every on, uh, and everything. Obito scoffled. Yeah, I know. Haha. -ha. So funny. Well, from now on, I'm going to be on time for everything. Kakashi was clearly quite scripted. And why is that? Obito wasn't sure how... Uh, how to answer that? Well, it's kind of a long story. Don't worry about it. Rin looked at him and saw his uh, his cheek. Obito, is there a bruise on your cheek? Obito was getting nervous. Um, yeah, I got I got smacked in the face by a tree. That's all. 
Minato spoke up. Can you give me a second with Obito, please? Uh, they both walked away and Minato turned to Obito. Why, why don't you they want to tell them? Obito looked down. T- uh, tell them that my parents thought I was so worthless that they didn't care uh, what happens to me. Yeah, I don't think so. Minato put his hand on Obito's shoulders. Obito, you are uh, Obito. They are your friends. I am sure they will support you. They are not worth. You are not worthless. Your parents are just asses. Obito, uh, Obito was uh, scared, but nodded. Guys, you you can come back now. They walked over, and Rin was extremely curious. Obito, what's going on? Obito looked the uh, look uh, took a deep breath and told them everything that happened the day before. Rin looked. Apple looked approached and Kakashi didn't look extremely pleased either. Uh, Obito, do, do they really beat you? The Obito didn't respond. He just nodded. Rin ran up and hugged him. Oh my god, why the hell didn't you tell us? Kakashi answered that Rin, he didn't tell, uh, he didn't tell, uh, he didn't tell anyone. He was obviously scared to tell anyone. He is from the Uchiha clan. They are a very private clan. He turned to Obito. I am sorry. I know we don't always get along, but even I feel bad about this. When my dad was still around, at least he was always there for me when I needed him. You didn't even... You, you didn't even... Uh, he, I needed him. You didn't even that. Uh, you didn't even that. Obito looked surprised at what Kakashi said. Thanks, man. That 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 means a lot. Minato smiled. Now you see, teamwork. That's what I have been talking about. Everyone trying to understand each other so that we can all work together. Work together. I think you guys are finally ready for a C rank. Kakashi liked the sound of that. All right, awesome. Where can when can we go? Minato laughed at his ex- excitement. I will se- set it up so that we can leave tomorrow. I would like all of you guys to come over and have dinner with us and stay the night so we can be so we can be sure we all are ready tomorrow. Any objections? They all sh- shook their heads. Good. Get whatever you need and then come to my place. We will go over patrol. Have um, pet, uh, por- protocol. We will go over protocol. Have dinner and then get a good night's sleep for tomorrow. Kakashi hurried home to get ready and Rin waved goodbye. See you soon, Sensei. You too, Obito Kun. She left and Obito turned to Sensei. Did you hear that? She called me Obito Kun. Oh man, this is so awesome. Minato smiled and the boy, uh, boy. Uh, Minato smiled and the boy to head home and tell Kagushina to prepare for company while he set, uh, set everything up with the Hokage. Obito ran home getting a green ear from year, grinning year to year and blushing. Obito got back home and found Kushina uh, sleeping some, sharpening some kunai. Kushina sensei, uh, Kushina. Sensei invited the team to have dinner here and they uh, and stay the night before we wa- uh, we go on our first C rank. I hope that's okay. Kushina nodded. Of course, I have been asking to meet his team for ages. I was, I am just glad I finally get to see the uh, see the other two. Obito was glad she was okay with all the all this. That's good. Rin Chan called me Obito Kun today. Kushina noticed a little blush when he mentioned her. Oh, do you like this girl? Obito jumped a little at the question. Well, yeah, she's my teammate. Kushina laughed. You know, that's not what I meant. Do you have a crush on her? Obito nodded slightly. She is beautiful and smart and nice, and Kushina could see he was clearly head over heels for the girl. Wow, you really like her, so why don't you ask her out? Obito looked at her like uh, she was crazy. I can do that. What if she says no? Even worse, what if she laughs at me? Kushina 
gave him a small soft smile well to be honest you don't know if she will however if she is as smart and kind as you say she is she will definitely say yes if you ask roll the dice and have some faith obito still look nervous okay but what do i say kushina laughed come on i will help you minato got back from the hokage's office with a scroll in hand he found that his three students were all they are waiting for him you guys are here uh, yeah arrange aren't you eager, you guys are eager aren't you they all nodded well good we have got a few things to go over to, uh, though kakashi i realize this will be something we re- review for you this uh, somewhat review for you as well you have been on a c rank before kushina uh, was a little surprised at that really i thought he was a genin kakashi shook his head No I have been I uh, I have been a chunin for the past 2 years the past 2 years the hokage felt it was better if i was on a team for on a on team for a while all my uh, all my comrading officers felt that felt that was the one area i was lacking in if i can prove that i have i have that prove that i have that then they will finally promote me to jonin kushina was impressed wow that's pretty good i made jonin at 16 myself jin was a little confused by that word i didn't know you were a ninja kushina shrugged well yeah i just don't go on missions as often because of well let's just say i have something very important to the leaf they don't want to risk Obito wanted to ask more but Minato cut off. Uh, anyways, there are not too many petro uh, protocols for a C rank. It's all pretty simple. Irene was listening at- attentively. Okay, so what are they? Minato started uh, started to name them off. Number 1, everything that happens on the mission is classified until other uh, uh, other wish to told uh, told us uh, so told so Kakashi rolled his eyes well yeah that's a given of any mission we need to figure that uh, that would be the, their response number 2 if you are captured say nothing and wait for someone to come find you Oh, we do spoke up we do, we would go, go get them right we would go get them right mina the smile well we aren't technically supposed to but i am i always say those who break the rules are trash but those who abandon their teammates are lower than trash kakashi remembered his father dying over such a rule he is still wasn't sure if he agreed with that but for now he would accept it minato commented of the final rule and the last but not least the mission is to be done before anything else we have uh, we can have fun outside the village later obito was getting pumped where are we going minato told him we have a mission to deliver a message a message scroll to some cloud ninja at a, at a natural location neutral location Rino was went wide eyed are you, are we finally close uh, close to peace with them minato smiled we are getting there but we have still got ways to go kushina scoffed so we are finally getting those war ma- mang- mongols to listen huh we are finally getting those war, war mongols to listen huh good those guys are such a powerful hungry fools Obito was sensing some hostility. Did something happen with you and the Cloud Ninja? Kushina forgot and nodded. Crazy little prick tried to kidnap me when I was about 18. Rin was shocked. Really? Why? Kushina sighed. Not a ton of people know this, but I am the Jinjuriki of the QB. When I was 10, I was brought here for the from the whirlpool whirlpool when it was the de- uh, when it was destroyed by the hidden rock they seek for the, they seek to get all of the tailwinds they seek to get 
all of all of the tailed beast even kakashi was interested who saved you kaka akushina walked over to her husband well this big hunk right here well this big hunk right here he saved my uh, saved my from a whole group of cloud ninja cloud jonin he found me when no one else could rin loved a good romantic story how did he find you Kushina gave her husband a kiss on the cheek. I left strands of my hair, uh, hair so that someone would find me. Only Minato could figure out uh, figure uh, figure out it was my hair. He started. Uh, he said the only one person had re- hair as beautiful as that. Rin had star in his uh, eyes. Oh, that's so sweet. Kakashi thought it was che- uh, it was cheesy. but choose not to say anything for his own health for his own health minato smiled to at his wife hard to believe it took me saving your life just to get you to stop thinking i was a spineless bro- bookworm kushika kushina yeah, kushina giggled so kushina thought minato was a spineless bookworm nice Minato powdered. I was doing it to recreate the yellow flash that uh, to, uh, I was doing it to recreate. Wait a second. Kushina giggled. Well, you were always reading those ceiling books. What uh, was I supposed to think? Minato powdered. Uh, Minato powdered. I was doing it to recreate the yellow flash that. Tobirama created I need to read those book bo- uh, books Kushina just giggling come on you guys uh, you guys dinner's ready she made uh, she had sa- made some dumpling and a special fish sauce from back when she lived in the whirlpool it was fantastic much to Rin's surprise I usually hate anything fish related but this is great Kushina was glad she liked it. Oh, thanks. It's an old favorite of mine. Rin ate some more dumplings. So, what have Obito Kun here? Uh, Obito Kun here like? So, what was having Obito Kun here like? Having Obito Kun here like? Kushina smiled. He, uh, she, uh, she was hoping Rin would ask that. Oh, it's great. He is just, is uh, just a. Uh, He is just such a little joy to have around. He is so nice and helpful. You must love to have him on your team. Rin smiled at Obito and he and he blushed. Oh yeah, it's great. I to- I had no idea how bad it was at home though and he is still always more worried for us than himself. He is really something else. Kushina is sm- smart. hook line and sinker oh my sounds like you have a little crush on him obito still wasn't sure about kushina's plan but he he said what he told her to say yeah rin you trying to take on me on a date or something you trying to take me on a date or something rin laughed well he is a nice guy who knows obito knew it was one now or never How about after we get back from the cloud mission I take you on uh, take you out to dinner Rin smiled and nodded okay sounds good Obito had to stop himself from jumping up uh, and down in joy Kushina knew her work was done they ate at the rest of the meal without play, with playful jokes and good stories it was a good night for all involved That's all for part 2. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So by subscribing you will be get you will get a notification when I release part 3. That being said, I have to see you in the next one. Bye bye.